Ain't it grand to be a Christian? Yes, it is. Ain't it grand? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Tonight we're going to be in Hebrews chapter 2. Uh, before we get started tonight, let's just everybody stand up and give God a little shout. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's Thank get this thing started. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. He's already in the house. Hallelujah. Ain't he good? Ain't he good? We have a revival every time we come to church. Every time we step through the door, we're going to have revival. Hallelujah. Revival is not an appointed time. Hallelujah. It's a lifestyle. Thank you, Jesus. Man, we got a good chapter. We're starting in Hebrews. This is a good book. It's talking about Jesus tonight. A lot of it's talking about him. Uh, bearing the cross, amen, and, and becoming flesh so that we could be saved, hallelujah, through the blood. And uh, we'll just jump right in tonight, and uh, remember, you know, if you, you want to shout, you shout. We come to church to have a good time, to be glad in the Lord. He's going to pour out His oil of gladness yes. on us tonight. Thank you, Jesus. So Hebrews chapter 2, verse 1. Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. Come on, now that's powerful. That starts out real powerful, don't that's it? Right. Yeah, you know, it says it says to give the earnest heed. That means to do, to do Amen. what we have heard. And what we have heard is the gospel of That's Jesus right. Christ. Yeah. Amen. Yes. We come to church time after time, Wednesday and Sunday and Wednesday and Sunday and Wednesday and Sunday. We learn about the Lord. We go home and we hear about the Lord through His Word and through testimony, through Thank praise you, reports. You, we hear the Word and we need to do the Word. Yeah. Amen. Right. We need to be bold yes. in the Word of God. Hallelujah. Right. Now you say, how do we become bold in Christ? You need to search after righteousness. Amen. Amen brother. See, when you're righteous in God, not on your own accord, of course, but through the blood of Jesus, He comes in and we are made righteous through His blood. We can be bold. So if tonight that's something you struggle with, if you struggle with getting up and shouting the victory, if you struggle with being bold as a Christian, number one, you got to give heed to what you've heard. And you've got to search after that righteousness. Come on now. See, when you're made righteous in Christ, and you're abiding in Him, and He's abiding in you, and you got that communion with the Holy Ghost and the power, that resurrection and life is living inside of you, you don't have any skeletons in the closet. Come on. Come on. See, when you ain't got any skeletons in your closet, you're free. And when you're free, you can praise God. And then when you're walking in that righteousness and you're walking in the power of God, you're not going to slip. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. As long as we wake up each and every day and we praise Him and we search after Him and we look for Him and we do what we have been taught and we do what we have learned about Him in the Word of God, we're not going to slip. Amen. It says, do the heed, earnest Give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard. Yes. Lest at any time we should let them slip. So tonight, don't be slipping, all right? Yeah. Hey, don't let the Lord catch you slipping, amen? Yeah, slip hey, when you get up in the morning, shout it down. When you get up in the morning, praise Him. Get up and praise Him. He's worthy. Come to church and praise Him. He's worthy. Amen? Amen? we got to show up for God because He's showing up for us. Don't let him catch us slipping. Hallelujah. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward. Man, that'd be something, wouldn't it? Yes. What if you had to pay for your sin as soon as you committed it? Uh -oh. Huh? 
You know, it ain't like charging that debit card or that credit card. Come on. What if you had to pay for that sin? What if you had to pay for it? As soon as you committed it, the Lord just come down and, and he, he committed judgment on you right then. Come on, man. Glory be to God. It says, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? Let's read it one more time. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? In other words, if the Lord catches you slipping, come on. If it, come on, yeah, that's right. If the Lord, y'all come on, help me out tonight. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If the Lord catches you slipping, amen, how are we going to escape? If we have forgot and ain't been heeding to the word of God, Amen. come on, to a so great a salvation. You say, what's our salvation? It's in the blood. Hallelujah. He died on the cross to save us of our sins that we can live the abundant life each and every day. Every minute of every hour, every second of our day, we can have our mind focused on God and he can be focused on us. Come on, because he's looking out for his children. Amen. Amen. And we can escape. He said he would make a way of escape when we are tempted. Absolutely. Come on, y'all. He sure Y'all ain't been slipping this week, have you? No. Amen. Huh? Don't let him catch you slipping. Amen. Don't let me catch you slipping, saith the Lord. Amen. Hey. Come on. Hallelujah. Ain't he good tonight? Man, how should we escape if we neglect? So great. Why would we want to neglect it? Right. Amen? Amen? Why would you want to come to church and hear the word of God and keep living the same old life and not have that abundant life? That's right. He's an abundant God. And he wants to bless his children. Amen. If you've yes. been born again, you are his child. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm the son. Come on. Yes. I'm an heir of salvation yes. that we learn. Glory be to God. Yes. Glory be to God. I don't want to neglect the, the salvation that Jesus paid for. That's right. He paid for it. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory. Amen. Ain't he good? Man. Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us. By them that heard him. Talking about the disciples and all the people he preached to. God also bearing them witness, both with signs and wonders, and with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his will. Now the Holy Ghost comes, Sunday's Pentecost Sunday. The main reason for the Holy Ghost is to glorify God. Amen. 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 It's not to be made a spectacle of. Right. Yeah, we come to the house of God and we've been shouting. We've been having a good time. We've been seeing things happen. Hallelujah. We've been revived. Amen. There's a revival fire burning at Clearview Gospel Mission. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Ain't that good? Ain't that good? Hallelujah. It says, God also bearing them witness. It says, these signs shall follow them that believe. Amen. 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 So tonight, as we come to the house of God and we're believers in salvation and we're heeding to the doctrine of Jesus Christ, uh, every word he spoke, uh, we're hanging on it and he ain't catching us slipping, we're going to see great and mighty miracles Amen. in the name of Jesus. I speak it into the air right now in Jesus' name that clear your gospel mission shall, shall see great and mighty miracles because we believe in the only one and true God. Hallelujah. And those that are filled with the Holy Ghost and power are going to be witnesses unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory be to God. Man, I come fired up. I come fired up tonight. You know, about 6 o'clock, I just started praying, Todd. 6 o'clock, I just started praying that God would move into this place and the glory would fall. I started putting on my armor. I was telling them before, before church, He's given me a salvation. He's given me promises in His Word. One of His promises is that I can wear the armor of the Lord. The whole armor. Oh, That's right. I was walking around my living room. I'm not, I'm not glorifying myself. I'm glorifying Jesus Christ tonight. Hallelujah. Yes. And the gifts that he's given his children. Thank you, I walk around the living room. I'm praying. Yes. 
I, I, I'm in there putting my helmet on. I mean, I'm literally putting it on. Yes. Come on. Yes. I'm strapping up my breastplate. Yes. Come on. I'm putting my belt of truth on. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Amen. Thank you. I got my feet shod oh. with the preparation. Yes. For the gospel of peace. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I picked up my sword of a sword of the spirit Ooh. and my shield of faith. Yes. Come on, church. You, and I told the Lord, I said, I'm battle ready. Yes. <laughs> I said, I'm battle ready. This church is becoming battle ready. Oh, hallelujah. We're becoming battle ready. And we're not going to neglect what God has given us. He's given us the power first to give us salvation. And then he gives us the power to overcome this world and to overcome the enemy. Glory be to God. Man. Diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost. We're seeing children speak in tongues. Come on. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Under 10 years old. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. That's a great and mighty miracle. We're seeing people saved. Yes. We're seeing new yes. people come. You look around tonight. It's Wednesday night. We got a good crowd in here. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. It's not nothing I've done. It's nothing certain has done. It's the power of God. Yes. Glory be to God. Man, we got to stir it up, y'all. Man, ain't he good? Man, he's, he's so good. Hallelujah. Verse 5. For unto the angels hath he not put in subjection the world to come, whereof we speak. But one in a certain place testified, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him? Glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah. Let's read it. Let's re I got to read it again, man. Man, this ought to put a smile on your face tonight. But one in a certain place testifies, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man that thou visiteth him? Hallelujah. Thank you. Huh? Hallelujah. They look there asking God, why are, you, why are you looking over man like they are? Why are you so interested in what they do? Why in the world are you going to send your son to bear the cross for them people down there? Come on, church. Hallelujah. It's because we are his creation. And he loves us. And the whole reason we was created was to serve him. Tonight I come not as a leader, but as a servant. I serve God. Hallelujah. I serve my fellow brethren in the church. Hallelujah. I serve you because Jesus has been so good to us. Yes. Glory be to God. What is man that thou art mindful of him? Thou art mindful of him. The Lord's thinking about you tonight. Yes, he is. Before we walked in the door right here, the Lord was thinking about you. That's right. Before we opened up this Bible, he was thinking about you. 2,000 years ago, he was yes. thinking about you. Yes. When he walked up the cross, no, 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 no. come on, he had it on his back. They was beating him and he was yes. whipping him. And he was mindful of you. And everything that you are and every situation and every problem you got, he was on his mind. Hallelujah. Glory yes. be to God. Hallelujah. He was thinking about us, man. Yes. All the way up till he said, it is finished. And then now, now he's sitting at the right hand. Yes. And when we pray to the Father, Jesus turns and says, Lord, there's Oval again. He's down there acting a the fool for you. <laughs> Glory be to God. Come on. And the Lord's mindful of us yes, tonight. I want you to know he's thinking about you. Thinking. But it doesn't just go back to the cross. It goes all the way back to the creation of That's time. Right. I want you to know, I want you to fathom this tonight. Try to grasp this right here. Before there was anything, there was God. Before there was anything, before there was light, come on, there was God. Before there was light, there was God. And He was mindful of us. And He set us apart. For such a time as this. Yes, he did. You were created Amen. to be here in this time. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. To do great and mighty things for his name. Thank you, He's mindful of us. Yes, Glory be to God. Amen. Thou madest him a little lower than the angels that crowned us him with glory and honor and did us set him over the works of thy hands. Talking about Jesus becoming flesh as a man lower than the angels. Come on. 
And even as a man, the wind, the rain, the stars were still under his command. That's right. Glory be to God. He spoke to the wind and it ceased. Yes, it did. He spoke to the waves and they stopped. Amen. Come on. Amen. Glory be to God. And we're worried about what we got going on in our little lives. When all he's got to do is speak the word. That's right. Glory be to God. And he's already thinking about us. Amen. We just need to make that known to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. Man, we could have church right there. All things. He put all things under subjection, under his feet. Before I come over here tonight, I want you to know what I did. I took my anointing oil, and I anointed the soles of my feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You say, why'd you do that? Because everywhere I step, it's going to be a revival. Hallelujah. <laughs> everywhere I go, it's going to be a revival. Hallelujah. You say, you preaching yourself? No, man, no, sir. I'm preaching the power of Christ. Right. I'm preaching, preaching the power of God that's in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not on my own accord. I can't make my heart beat. Uh, but I give my life as a sacrifice unto yeah. him. Yeah. And he's going to use it for yeah. it, God. Tonight I dare you to go home and anoint the soles of your feet. Uh, and everywhere you take a step, just praise him for it. Right. Hallelujah. We got to come and take it. Man, I told him, I said... I said, you know, I'm tired of worrying about what the devil going to do. <laughs> you know, when all the devils, he's, he's mad at us. He's going to fight us here. He's going to do this. He's going to do that. You know what? The devil's worried about what I'm going to do. That's right. When I wake up in the morning and my feet hit the floor, he's worried, oh, man, what's he going to do today? Who's he going to pray for today? How long is he going to shout today? How loud is he going to get for God today? Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. We have the resurrection and the power living inside of us. It is in you. It is in you tonight. Glory be to God. All things in subjection unto him. Glory, I'm going to join in with Jesus. That means everything is under subjection to me because it's Christ in me. Yes. Amen. Yes. I told Blake yesterday, I said, I'm going to go home and I'm going to put my snakeskin boots on. <laughs> and I'm just going to walk around the house and do a little boot stomp. Yeah. And I said, I told Blake, I said, I'm going to call these boots my serpent treaders. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight you need to go home and you need to tread the serpent a little bit. Matter of fact, you need to just go on and tread the serpent right now in Jesus' name. Right now. Because the only place he has to operate is right underneath the soles of your feet. He has no power. He has no power. We have all power in Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Amen. Man. Man, oh man. <laughs> Glory. For in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. And you say, well, what's that talking about? He's talking about the millennial reign right there. See, Jesus Christ is going to come back and he's going to set up his kingdom here on earth. Right. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And the word of God says he's going to rule and reign from the throne here on earth. In Jerusalem. Come on, church. That's right. Come on. Ain't that what the word says? Yes. And he's going to set the captives free. Amen. And everybody, that everyone, everything in heaven and earth that's coming against the knowledge of God and what he is and who he is, he's going to take them captive. Yes. Amen. That's exactly right. That's the word. Mm. That's what it says. Yep. And guess what I'm going to be doing? Yeah. I'm going to be shouting down. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. So what you going to be doing? Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's going to set it up. And we're going to rule and reign with him. Hallelujah. Man, heaven on earth. You know, I've been, I've been praying that our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. I've been praying that every time we come in this church and we say our prayer, I've been praying that for right here because Amen. I want heaven 
to come down right now. Amen. I want heaven to be here in Clearview Gospel Mission right now. Right now. He said whatever you loose in heaven will be loosed on the earth. Come on. Right. Whatever you bind in heaven will be bound in the earth. Go, glory be to God. So tonight as we come, the holy kingdom of God is living in us and it's around us. And when we walked into this church tonight, it isn't just the Clearview Gospel Mission. It's the kingdom. That's powerful. That's deep, y'all. It's the kingdom of God here on earth. Amen. Here on earth. That's why we see the power. That's why we got the shout. That's why we got the praise. That's why we're seeing kids speaking in tongues. Amen. That's why we're going to see great and mighty miracles. Yes. That's why we're going to yes. see things happen in the name of Jesus because it's going to be heaven on earth. Yes. Wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Now let's get into verse 9. And this really starts talking about Jesus and, and when he went to the cross. His redemptive work is what it says is my title in the word. But we see Jesus. Ah, come on, y'all. Yeah. Yes, we do. I said, we see Jesus. but we see Jesus. <laughs> but we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. Yes. Man, if that don't bring the anointing, I don't know what will. But we see Jesus. We see Jesus. Every morning when I wake up, I see Jesus. Come on. When I get to work in the car and I start shouting and praising God, I see Jesus. Hallelujah. When I lay down to go to bed at night and I start praying and seeking his face, I see Jesus. And what he done for us, he tasted death that I could be free. Tonight I'm free. Oh, he took on sin. He tasted death for every man. Every man, every woman. Every man, every woman. He died for us. Glory be to God. Man, we see Jesus. Have you seen Jesus today? Did you see him? Yes. Did you even attempt to see him? I want to see him every day. Amen. You know, I was praying. And I told the Lord, I said, you know, in Revelations, it talks about your eyes being as fire and, and your hair as white as snow and, and your countenance is as the sun. And I said, Lord, when I read that, I always think of an old man with white hair. Come on, y'all. But I don't think that's what the Lord looks like. I don't think the Lord looks like an old man. I think he's clothed in righteousness and power Hallelujah. and glory. And because he's so pure, yes. because he's so pure, because he's so pure, Amen. his hair is white Amen. and his countenance is as the sun. Amen. Amen. That's right. In the truest form. Mm -hmm. Man. Hallelujah. But we see Jesus. Did you see him today? Glory. Yeah. I asked him, Lord, I said, I want to know who you are and what you look like. Show up to me. Amen? Amen. Amen. We need to pray that prayer. Yes, we do. We need to see him. Tonight, I ask you to search after him. Look for him. Go harder in the prayer. Amen. Go louder in your praise. Amen. Go longer in your Amen. shouts. Press in. Yes. Press in. Don't let, you, don't let him catch you slipping. Amen? Amen? Take heed to the word of God. Yes. Come on. Hallelujah. Don't neglect our salvation. Amen. Every day we need to be doing this. These new converts and these people who are getting filled with the Holy Spirit. I've been telling them, I said, you need to pray in your prayer language every single day. Yes. Every single day. God give you a gift, you need to use it. Amen. Well, tonight I speak to the church, he give you a gift. 
He give you salvation. He give you the power. You need to use it every single day. Every single day. You need to tread that serpent. Come on, y'all. Glory be to God. You might need to go buy you some cowboy boots. Y'all might have to get you some snake skins. Come on. Get your boot stomp. For it became him. For whom all whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing many sons unto glory mm. to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. Jesus was the perfect sacrifice. The perfect lamb. Hallelujah. He was the perfect lamb. He became sin. Hallelujah. And he stood in our place yes. and hung on the cross and tasted death for us uh, so we wouldn't have to. You, he paid for us, Thank glory you, be to God, you, to be made perfect with Him. You, seated in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Glory, you, glory, glory. Hallelujah. To have that same power. Hallelujah. To walk the abundant life. You, to do it every day. Amen. Not just hit and miss. Amen. That's right. You choose to be the way you are. Amen. Amen. You can choose righteousness. That's right. You can choose happiness. Amen. You can choose the presence of God. Yes. You can choose to shout. You can choose to pray. That's right. And you cannot. Amen. That's, right. That's right. Amen. But I'm not going to neglect what God has given me. Not anymore. Amen. Not anymore. Not anymore, church. Amen. I come battle ready. I've been listening to that old song. He's a battle axe. In the time of battle, glory, he's a battle axe. I come to do war tonight. I come to, we, we come to do war up in here. Hallelujah. This ain't just a church service. This is war. We're being equipped. We're being equipped. What you being equipped with? With the battle axe. Hallelujah. Because we're going to war each and every day. Every morning when your eyes wake up, you're going to war. And you better have that battle axe with you. You better not be slipping. Come on. You better not be neglecting that salvation, that power that he's given you. Because he died for you and he tasted death so you can have it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. For both he that sanctifies and they who are sanctified are all of one. For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. He is not ashamed to call them brethren because we are all in one. Sanctified. Amen. We're sanctified through the blood of Christ. We're sanctified through our communion with him each and every day. Walking in righteousness. Amen? Amen. 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 And when we're walking in the righteousness of yes. God, Amen. we become bold. Yes. And when we become bold, man, we get free. Amen. We get free. That's why people can't shout. Come on. Because they're not bold in the Lord because they got skeletons in the closet. Amen? Amen. Come on. And they're not free. But tonight, I ain't got nothing to hide. Amen. He paid it all. Yes. He set me free. He tasted death in my place. Yes. Glory. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've been Hallelujah. sanctified. Thank you, Father. Them old timers said, Huh? Come on, say it louder. Say it, say it louder. Filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm saved, sanctified, sanctified filled with the Holy Ghost, and on my way to heaven. Hallelujah. I'm on my way to heaven. Yes. And I'm going to shout it down all the way. Hallelujah. I'm going to shout till I get there. Yes, I'm going to be well, well practiced when I get there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to be practiced up when I get there. Amen. This is all a trial run. Come on, church. This is a trial run. What you going to do when you get there? I had a man ask me, he said, why you got to get loud? I said, well, let me ask you a question. What you think they're doing in the throne room right now? That's right. Amen. They shouting and praising God. Man, they shouting it down. Yeah, they are. I bet they loud. Yes. I bet it's loud. I bet it's a commotion up there in heaven. Amen. Come on. 
Why ain't we making a commotion here on earth? Why ain't they hearing us praise God? Come on, glory be to God. Our neighbors ought to know that we Pentecostal deal with the Holy Ghost and try the glory of God. Our neighbors ought to know that we speak in tongues. Come on. Come on. Our neighbors ought to know that we got some power that they ain't drawn from. They better know it. They better know it. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed to call him my brother. He's my brother. He's my savior, but he's my brother because I'm a joint heir with him. And everything he has is mine. Glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah. Man, sanctify. 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 Your family, your friends, your neighbors, your work employees, associates. They ought to know that you're filled with the Holy Ghost in the fire. They ought to know that you're drawn from a well that the world ain't got. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Come on, let's try to get through this here. 12. Saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. Glory. In the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee. He's a battle axe in the time of battle. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I say he's a battle axe in the time of battle. Glory. I will sing and praise his name in the midst of the church with my brethren. Tonight as you sit on the pew, you're my brethren. We're family tonight. We're family. We're family. And we're on our way to heaven. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Man, that's good. Yes, it is. You ought to sing a praise. You ought to have a praise in your lip. Come on. You ever see them, them baseball players on TV? They'll have a big old wad of gum or chewing tobacco in their lip. Yeah. That's how I'm walking away around with a praise in my mouth. Hallelujah. I'm walking around with a big old praise that's just Hallelujah. hanging out every which way. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Everywhere I go, I got the praise of God just hanging out my lips. Thank you, Lord. I'm spitting it out everywhere I go. Praise God. You might not like that analogy, but I liked it. Glory. 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 I'm spitting the praise out everywhere I go. Down at the gas pump. Down at Walmart. Down at Kroger. Come on. On the job. Hit this mailbox. Thank you, Jesus. Hit the next mailbox. Thank you, Jesus. Some lady standing outside in her yard looking at me going across. I'm in there shouting. They singing that song. He's a battle axe. In the time of battle. I'm in the mail. She just done lost my mind. People looking at me like I'm crazy because I got a praise hanging out my mouth. Glory. 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 I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed anymore. I'm not ashamed anymore. Glory be to God. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and the children which God has given me. Glory. God's going to give you souls for your hire. Amen. That's right. If you can be used of him, if you would submit yourself to him, if you would be a living sacrifice unto God, he'll give you souls for your hire. That's right. He will. He'll bring your family in. Thank you, Glory be to God. Glory be to God. He'll use you. He'll use you. He's looking for a servant tonight. Who's battle ready? Who's ready to pick up the axe and march out onto the battlefield and take back everything that the devil's taken from us? Hallelujah! I come to shake the gates of hell tonight. I come to shake them off the hinges. That's right. Yeah, I did. Glory. This church has power. This church has power. You have power. You know, you make up the church. That's right. Amen. So when I say this church has power, I'm talking about you. That's right. Amen. 
We've got the power. You didn't know I was going to sing, do you? No, I did. Hallelujah, man. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy. Yes. What happens when you go to war? You destroy the enemy right. to win the victory. Now I want you to see what Christ did on the cross. Likewise, took part of the same that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death. That is the devil. Yes. That had the power of death. I said that had, the devil used to have the power, but then Jesus Christ come, all oh, the word was made flesh, uh, and he went to the cross, uh, and he went into hell. Come on. He not only died on the cross, but he ascended. He descended into hell for you, and he took the key to death, hell, and the grave. Oh, glory be to God. And the power that the devil had, Jesus has now. And because we are heirs of salvation, we have it. Yes. So who's got the power over death? You do. Glory. Ain't worried about dying in my sleep. Ain't worried about it. Ain't worried about dying in a car wreck. Ain't worried about it. Don't care. You say, why? Because it's goodbye world. Hello, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. To be absent from the body is what? Present with the Lord. And you know what? Already knowing. Yes. We see Jesus, but we see Jesus. Amen. I'm seeing him now. So we're already well acquainted when I see him on that day. That's right. Hallelujah. I don't want to show up and meet a stranger. Come on. I'm going to show up and meet the man that I've been walking with each and every day. Right. Come on. Come on. Amen. We're well acquainted. Glory. Yes. Yes, Lord. Let's try to finish this up. And <laughs> Glory be to God. And deliver them. Jesus told me before we come over here, you say you're being mighty bold, but this is just the word of God. That he's going to set the captives free tonight. Amen. 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 Thank you. Tonight. Thank you. He'll do it tonight. Yes, he will. He'll do it right now. Yes. <laughs> he said, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. If you've been in bondage all of your life, come on. Jesus died to deliver you and set you free. And God has already said that he come to set the captives free. Yes. He done it 2,000 years ago. And he's still doing it right now tonight on June the 1st, 2022. Right now. Right now. Right now. Wednesday night. Wednesday night at 8 o'clock at 8.50. He's going to be declared and to set the captives free. Glory be to God. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. That thing that's been been hanging over your head, it's leaving tonight. Hallelujah. It's leaving tonight. That sleep that you ain't been getting, it's leaving tonight. Come on. Come on. That thing that the devil tried to put on you through the doctor's mouth, it's leaving you tonight. In Jesus' name. 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 Glory. For verily. <laughs> he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Wherefore in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. That means he was moved with compassion because he loved us to be made in the flesh 
that he be, might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God to save you from your sin and to set you free tonight <coughs> to make reconciliation whole, hallelujah, yes. for the sins of the people. Hallelujah. You say, well, what's reconciliation mean? Right standing. Yes. In right standing with God the Father. He died that even though we was born into a sin nature, come on, that we might be saved through salvation in the blood and Christ alone. There is no other way to God but through Jesus. Amen? Amen. That we could be made in right standing with God no matter what you have done. That's right. Praise God. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. It don't matter. Because the blood of Jesus Christ purges all sin. Glory. Thank you. Glory. Thank you. Glory. For in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able. Y'all say that with me tonight. He is, he is able. Come on, louder. He is able. Louder. He is able. Lift the roof off. He is able. What is he doing? He is able. He is able to succor them that are tempted. You say, what's that word mean? Come on. Somebody help me out now. What's the cur mean? Strengthen us to overcome. To overcome. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Succur. Succur. That means to raise us up. That's right. Deliver. Ah. Woo. Deliver. Oh my. Deliver yeah. them that are tempted. Deliverance. Be healed, be set free in Jesus' name. Yes. Tonight, yes. revival's here and it's not going anywhere. That's right. That's right. No, it's not. Don't let Jesus catch you slipping. Amen? Amen. Amen. Don't neglect your salvation. See Jesus every day. Yes. Walk with Him. Let Him be in you as you are in Him. Amen. You have the power over death because He won it. Amen. That's right. Glory be to God. That's right. Hallelujah. Anoint the soles of your feet because everywhere you go, it's going to be a revival. Amen. You anoint the soles of your feet because everywhere you take a step, it's going to be a revival if you want it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes. And tonight, if, you want <laughs> if you're being held captive, he's in the house yes. to set you free. Thank you. Yes. Will you stand with me? Glory. Glory.